Hello, this is Vampire here to do a shout out for Magnus Larson. Um, he is a fellow YouTuber, fellow martial artist. He's on YouTube. He does hybrid martial arts up in Sweden. And uh, not just martial arts, um, there's various styles of martial arts that he practices and he has videos up on his channel, but he also has exercise and fitness stuff on there as well. So if any of that interests you, please check it out. And the reason why I'm bringing him up is because recently on my YouTube channel, um, I made a video saying for Filipino martial arts, in Filipino combat, everything you do with the right hand, you're now going to do with the left hand. Okay. And uh, he left a comment saying um, he does the same thing. So for Filipino martial arts and in his martial arts uh, method, he also trains right side and left side, but when he when he was training boxing, they were like, "No, we don't do that." Okay, and I had a similar experience. Um, I had a boxing coach. The guy was an amateur boxer. He was a light heavyweight or heavyweight, and I remember I asked this guy, "Hey, can I do both both sides?" And he was like, "No." And for me, I also like. You know, Bruce Lee was very influential for me. So Bruce Lee talks about dominant side forward. And I know that's the opposite of boxing. But my coach was like, none of that, okay? Whatever side is your strong side, that goes to the back, period. You don't get the pick. That's your DNA and that's the way it is kind of thing. So that's the way that I learned it. And, it, you know, it makes sense from a boxing perspective, okay? Because... You think about it, okay? Maybe not all boxing gyms, especially today, a lot of them have changed. But if you go to a pro gym where they go and compete, okay, at a pro gym, you don't have the time to be messing around with both sides, period. You're not there to learn. You're there to develop. It's a little bit different, okay? So they're looking at you from day one, whatever you got, they immediately need to start polishing it because a week from now or, or who knows when, very soon, you're going to be sparring at the gym. And the people you're sparring against, the people in your gym, I mean, some of these people, you know, this is their only outlook in life. They might come from a very poor background, uh, no education, and also from a very severe criminal background maybe like if they didn't do boxing they would end up in jail so they don't have a choice kind of thing and you know going up up against people like that that for them this is their career this is their life they're fighting to put food on the table and you going let me do right side but let me also do the left side let me see which one works better for me that that attitude isn't going to work against someone that's there that is desperate and that comes from a very hungry that from Rocky three, they're talking about eye of the tiger. Okay. Those, those wolves are hungry and that's what you're facing. So in that kind of environment, I get it. You really don't have the time. Now, uh, another example I could give you guys is I was in the tennis team back in high school. So on the tennis team, Okay, you got to play within the group, within within your uh, own teammates. We have to play each other, okay? And then the top five or top ten or whatever, they get to go compete. And then maybe there's one or two uh, alternates, uh, people that uh, are bench warmers. And, and in case one of them can't make it or whatever, they go. They also go, okay? So it was something like that. And when you're playing like that, the ranking in your own school, so within your own team, you are fighting for rank. And when you're doing that, um, do you have time to switch to the left hand or, the, or the, your weaker side and, and try it out in a match like that? No, you're not going to do that. You don't have that. You don't have that kind of luxury. So it's the same thing, tennis and boxing, okay? Uh it's just you don't have that kind of time to be messing around like that, okay? So 
Now, in Filipino martial arts, you might go, wait, wait a minute. This is for from Filipino martial arts is from the battlefield, dude. This is, you know, self-defense to the extreme. You're doing this in combat situations. And the answer is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But the modern Filipino self-defense, modern Filipino martial arts that's being taught, okay? When was the last time you were in a self-defense situation? And when do you think is the next time you'll be in a self-defense situation? And chances are, I doubt it's next week, okay? So, or I doubt that it was last week. You, you know what I mean? So it's not that frequent. So you do have time. You do have time to mess around and learn this stuff because that's what this is. This is learning. This is not, okay, we're going to go fight for your life immediately. Now, if you're military or you're police and you got to learn this stuff, then I get it. I would probably teach that person angles of attack and just one side only. We would not do arm waving. Okay, we won't do both hands and I won't teach them left hand. I would say if you have the time, also work your left hand. You never know. It could help you, believe it or not. You know, in battle, you want to be able to adapt and stuff. But for immediate usage, you're going to be deployed in a, in a week or in a month. Okay. So for people like that, I would say just do your dominant side. So if you're right-handed in Filipino martial arts, we do the right hand and that's it. So if you are, you know, a military guy and you're going to be training with a machete in the jungles and fighting terrorists because that's what they do in the Philippines, then yeah, I would say work on that right side like crazy, man. You're going to be using it and needing it big time. If you're police, well, your dominant hand is going to be using a firearm. Chances are it's a pistol, handgun. So then the left hand needs to fight off the bad guy if they're trying to take your gun away from you or trying to get close to you. So the left hand is going to be using a baton or a knife. Well, that's where it is. The left hand, this is where we going to be training the angles of attack. So work on the left hand. So if you're police, okay? So of course it's better if you could do both. But if you don't have the time and you got to pick one, I would say stick with one and stick, you know, depending on military or police, you know, whichever way of thinking suits you better, okay? Uh, yeah, I, I believe that is the way to go. Now, if you do practice the left hand, so if you're civilian and you have time to do left hand, I highly recommend it because the next level is the heaven six type stuff, arm weaving. So if you already have left hand control, it's going to make it so much easier for you to do arm weaving, which is both hands simultaneous. So even if you had a pistol, man, imagine being able to use the pistol and the machete and your or or knife or uh, tactical baton or a tactical flashlight, and you're able to use it both simultaneously without worrying about shooting yourself. Then it would make things much much better for you. So. You know, that is the next level skill is arm weaving, okay? But it is kind of hard to learn and it does take some practice. It does take some dedication and, and commitment and you just may not have that kind of time, okay? But normally in Filipino martial arts studios, in classes, we go from the right hand, now we do the left hand, now we do both hands, okay? And when you do both hands, we do it square. Okay, but then the level after that is you gonna be bladed because it's more realistic to fight bladed, which means one side will be to the front. Okay, and I uh, when I look at the historical Filipino martial arts, uh, those guys when they fought in a duel or whatever, when they had to actually use the stuff, even though I'm sure they had skills with both arms, they could do both arms. When it came down to it, they picking one. They specialize in one. So. I believe, you know, so they're connected, okay? So the boxing way and the Filipino way may seem different at first, but actually it is connected, okay? So anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.